Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at Endeavor OS, Galileo, and Manjaro 23.0.1. And I've gone ahead and run through the installer, so this is our first boot, first login. Um, so we'll go ahead and check for updates. It does look like the Manjaro side has, yeah, 322 available updates. So let me close out of that and go ahead and apply those. And then on the Endeavor side, we'll just open up a terminal. Do sudo pacman s y u. Okay, on the Endeavor side, no updates. And Manjaro's got a few. Okay, and we'll do a speed test. We want to do 13.22 on each. And then we'll just wait for them both to restart at the same time. Keep in mind, Manjaro did have updates, but those are all installed. It's been rebooted since then. So this should be a fair test. I believe that was the tie. All right, and neither one of these distributions has a driver manager, but what I have found is there is a forum post on Endeavor OS, and there's a wiki for the Manjaro side, and I'll leave both of these links in the description. Uh, but essentially, all you'd have to do is run this command from the terminal, if you're on Endeavor, and there's the command for the Manjaro side. All right, we'll take a look at system monitor here. Endeavor OS, 0.12% on the CPU. Memory, 876 megabytes. And this is Mate, so 876 is a little high. Normally on Mate, you'd see between 600, 700 megabytes. Uh, Manjaro, 933, that's really high for, for Mate. And CPU, 023. Oh, here's a spike. Uh, but it is just a spike. It's one, two, three percent on the CPU. But yeah, memory usage is, is really high on both. All right, and I just grabbed HTOP on both. So let's go HTOP. And new fetch. I got them both. So, okay, so if we're looking at HTOP, this is more of the memory consumption that I'd expect to see from Mate. So Endeavor OS 653. Manjaro 690. Not too bad. Uh, CPU between 0, 1, 2, 0, and 1. So about the same on each. All right, we'll take a look at the file manager. Help and about. Help and about. And I was corrected. It's not Kaja, it's Kaha. 1.26.1. Kaha 1.26.1. So they're the same. And just for, uh, to keep them separated, Endeavor OS, I've got the light theme. Manjaro's got the dark. Uh, I wouldn't make a decision based off of that. You can change the theming, but like I said, just to keep it to where we can, you know, have a visual. The Endeavor OS is the light theme and then the Manjaro is the dark theme. And we'll take a look at system settings. In Mate, it's called Control Center. Um, and I'll take a look at some of these that stick out to me. Add and remove software. You don't get that with, with Endeavor. You pretty much do everything in the terminal on the Endeavor side because it's very close to Arch. Um, some other things that stick out to me. Manjaro has its own settings manager. So if we go in there, here you've got a um, kernel that you can go into. So let's say you've got some hardware that's not working with the current ver version of the kernel that you're running. So like Bluetooth, um, wireless cards, things of that nature, but your hardwired is working. So you can actually get to this. Um, 
you could you know and try out 6.7 or 6.6 depending on what version you own currently so let's uh, we're on 6.5 so the new LTS is going to be the 6.6.53 so let's say our Bluetooth wasn't working for whatever reason we could just come into this kernel module um, highlight the 6.6 and click on install and that'll go and, and pull the kernel down and install it for us and then we'll just restart and then we could test out to see if that Bluetooth or the wireless card or you know whatever hardware is not working to see if that would um, support it with the new kernel. That's very cool and that's specific to Manjaro. Also, if you scroll down, you see this hardware configuration. If we go into that, let's say you did have an NVIDIA card. Um, pretty sure it would be listed here. I don't, so it's not listed, but pretty sure it'd be listed here. And instead of using the open source version, you just come in here and you you highlight your NVIDIA and you'd put a check next to your NVIDIA driver. So that's pretty cool. That's almost like Linux Mint or Ubuntu. So just making Arch a little bit more user friendly on the Manjaro side. You can pause the video and go through the rest. Um, that's the ones that stood out to me. All right, let's take a look at the Firefox versions. Help and about. Do the same thing on both sides. And no surprise, both are rolling releases. who have got the latest and greatest. All right, and let's discuss installing packages on each. So on the Endeavor OS side, we've got our welcome screen and that gives us this link that we can click on, browse all Arch packages. And what that's gonna do is it's just gonna bring up archlinux.org slash packages. So let's say we wanted to look for OBS, right? OBS, press enter. It's giving us a lot more than what we want. So I know that the name of the package is OBS-Studio. So just to confirm that Arch Packages does have that package for us, we can check and make sure it's OBS-Studio version 30. All right, so we know that that would work if we were to try to Pac-Man OBS-Studio. All right, on the Manjaro side, let's just type in OBS, press enter, and you can see how it's just easier from an um, end-user perspective to, to look for packages, right? OBS-Studio, you don't have to know that. We just typed in OBS. Uh, and it is version 30. Same as the Endeavor OS side. So what we'll do, let's minimize this, bring up our terminal. And since we know that that package is there, I'm just up arrowing till I get to my sudo pacman s, so I don't have to type it all, just OBS-Studio. Press enter, put in our password, you can see it found it. We'll press yes for install. And boom, we've got OBS. So we're on the Manjaro side. We're just gonna click on install, apply, and choose, apply, put the password in. While it's downloading, we'll go ahead and open it up on this side on Endeavor. Oh, what's it gonna put it under? Collection, accessories. Sound and video, yeah, it makes sense. All right, so OBS Studio, boom. Let's go cancel out of the wizard. We're just showing that it does launch, just, in, uh, just an example. And so if we look at both, help and about, help and about, essentially the same package, just a different way of getting both, but they are the same. All right, we'll take a look at the system trays. We'll start on Manjaro. We've got a show the desktop button. So we'll just bring up a couple of items here. Terminal, Kaha. So now we've got three applications open, right? They're kind of cascaded like this. If we hit the show desktop button, it does exactly what you think it does. Click it again, boom, it brings everything back. And then here is our date and our time. Click on that, it's got our calendar. We've got our network connection. If you had a wireless connection, you'd see the uh, the radio button here with your how, how strong the signal is. And then our shield here on this side means that our system's up to date. There's no packages out there that need to be updated. And then our volume button. All right, to where if we go on the Endeavor side, 
we've got our date and our time. Click on that, you get your calendar. And our network, our sound. But on this side, we've got a brick wall. And if you click, if you hover over that, if we go to about, that's actually our firewall. All right, and if we look at NeoFetch, we've got kernel 6.6 .6 on the Endeavor side, kernel 6.5 on the Manjaro side. So Endeavor does have the newer kernel and 6.6 .6 is going to be the LTS, uh, the new LTS. Packages 827 on the Endeavor side and then 977 on the Manjaro side. So 150 more packages on the Manjaro side. Bash looks the same, Mate looks the same, and then Memory 809 on Manjaro, 707 on Endeavor, about the same. All right, and this is the release cycle section. They're both rolling releases. Endeavor OS follows Arch much more closely. Manjaro uh, tends to be a little bit behind. I mean, they're both cutting edge, but Endeavor wins out slightly. All right, let's have a look at wallpapers. So I'm just gonna right click, change desktop background. Right click, change desktop background. And they're both running Mate. I would say the Endeavor OS has a more vanilla Mate install than Manjaro. Manjaro's got its own uh, wallpapers in here. I do like that one. Let's go ahead and add that one there. And then I went and downloaded this uh, Galileo wallpaper. So there's the different wallpapers. And that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you found the video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.